In an exclusive interview with Soho Entertainment, the two leading actors introduced each other's roles in a literary way. Zhao Lucy described Wang Anai's role in the play as a character with a strong sense of fragmentation, like a the jade bottle will break when touched. Wang Anai said that Zhao Lucy's acting skills were explosive. In order to get closer to their characters, the two leading actors made full preparations for the play in advance, including learning how to exercise power, watching other fairy tale dramas to learn from the rhythm, refining the body shape in ancient costumes, losing weight, etc. Zhao Lucy even revealed that Wang Anai lost 20 pounds of meat for the film, which shows that they put a lot of effort into shaping the character. Regarding the love style in the drama, Zhao Lucy admitted that the straight ball way of pursuing love is worth learning, but she laughed and said that she wouldn't be able to do it in real life. The two of them are also full of funny baggage in private, and they always get twice as funny when they get along. Their first impressions of each other were sweet girl and handsome guy, and they revealed interesting stories about the two of them getting along privately. Wang Anayu secretly liked Damwe himself very much, while Zhao Lucy would imitate Wang Anayu, which made him unable to help but laugh at himself. Wang Anayu recently participated in Flowers and Boys 5 and made a rapid appearance. While he thanked the audience for liking the show, he also talked about the journey of being a tour guide. The sense of responsibility comes up, which also shows his serious attitude at work. The interaction between the pair of leading actors undoubtedly adds more interest to the audience and makes people look forward to their wonderful performances in the play. Looking forward to their wonderful performance in the hidden god and more interesting tidbits. New article, Lucy and Fen Yin, the true story behind the love model in the drama recently, the interesting stories between Zhao Lucy and Wang Anayu, the stars of the TV series Proxy, have become a hot topic. In the play, A Yin, played by Zhao Lucy, and Fen Yin, played by Wang Anayu, bring about a touching romance, and in real life, the interaction between the two is equally amazing. It is reported that Zhao Lucy cut from the cute and smarty Yin to the domineering Feng Yin in an instant, showing excellent acting skills. On the set, she conquered all the audience with her soulful singing, and even made Wang Anayu cry bitterly on the spot. On the other hand, the interaction between Zhao Lucy and Wang Anayu in real life is also the focus of attention. They revealed in the interview that entering the Xiangxia crew requires some special preparations, such as learning how to exert power, watching other Xiangxia dramas, and taking tutoring on ancient costume body shapes and line rhythms. Among them, Zhao Lucy lost 20 pounds for the role, showing a professional attitude. In addition, what is interesting is that the two are also quite interesting in their daily interactions. They commented on each other's childishness during the interview, displaying a relaxed and playful way of interacting. When playing games, the two showed their childish side, playing games like 15 and 20, and complimented each other on their childishness, showing a very interesting interaction between them. Finally, the love style between Yin and Fen Yan in the play has also become a hot topic. Zhao Lucy said that in real life, she prefers to play straight and tell the opponent directly how she feels. Wang Anai said that he pays more attention to what is true and right. Although he also believes that directly expressing feelings is a healthy way, he rarely practices it in real life. Their interaction shows a refreshing view of love, and makes people wonder whether true love is the same in real life. Through these interesting stories, we not only saw the hard work and professional attitude of the two stars in and outside the play, but also felt the relaxed and interesting interaction between the two and their true attitude towards love. Perhaps, this kind of story is the most touching. Let us look forward to more interesting stories together. How did the two actors view each other before they worked together? Wang Anai and Zhao Lucy revealed some interesting details in the interview. During their time on the set, they made fun of each other, but also had their moments of silencing each other. If the crew creates a travel troupe, what role will they play? In addition, they also shared some interesting stories about their lives. These contents are very interesting. The interaction and chemistry between the two actors will undoubtedly give the audience more to look forward to in the series. Dear friend, do you have a friend with whom you can share interesting things about life at any time? Just like Wang Anai and Zhao Lucy, their way of chatting is very interesting. Wang Anai and Zhao Lucy's chatting style is simply fairy level. You will never guess how they chat. Therefore, you may think that their chatting style will be emoticon attack, single word attack or interval attack, but in fact, their chatting method is full of creativity and humor. For example, Wang and I joked that he would send a plane to pick up Zhao Lucy, and discussed with her the issue of the tarmac. Sometimes Zhao Lucy suddenly disappeared, but she would also respond the next day. This interesting way of chatting is like a wonderful comedy that makes people laugh. 
The interaction between them is full of fun, and seems to bring people a relaxed and happy spiritual feast. Perhaps this is also a reflection of the deep friendship between them. In addition, the drama about Zhao Lucy and Li Yunru's collaboration is also full of expectations. Although their relationship in the play was full of twists and turns, Zhao Lucy revealed that Li Yunru had found his love in real life, which made people feel happy and relieved for him. As Zhao Lucy said, we will always give everyone good expectations, and I also hope that the audience can find the beauty in their hearts while following the drama. I wonder if you also have interesting chat methods similar to Wang Anio and Zhao Lucy? No matter what method is used, being able to communicate happily and share every detail of life is the most important thing. I hope that we can all be like them, having a close friend who can speak freely, share the joys, sorrows and joys of life together, and create more happy memories together. Little Flower to Wang and I admitted that being a tour guide is exhausting. Have you noticed this? In an interview with Sohu Entertainment, Wang and I revealed his journey as a tour guide for the first time. He expressed his gratitude to the audience for their love for the show, but admitted that he did not really enjoy this exotic trip. Zhao Lucy also said in the interview that the exhaustion during recording was beyond imagination. Behind the seemingly joyful journey, they discovered many shortcomings from the audience's perspective. As an audience, have you ever noticed these details? When Wang Anayu talked about his sense of responsibility as a tour guide, he expressed that he was worried that his performance would affect the audience's experience, and that he was worried that there would be places he regretted not seeing. This kind of emotion is sincere and close to life, which may be one of the reasons why Hu Xiao too attracts audiences. Their true feelings made us more psychologically identify with and understand the situation at that time. Everyone has their own roles and responsibilities, and different identities will bring different pressures and challenges to people. Wang Anai was working as a tour guide for the first time. In order for everyone to have fun, he not only needs to take care of himself, but also needs to consider the feelings and play experience of the entire team. Behind this sense of responsibility is respect for the audience and a dedicated attitude towards work. When watching Hu Xiao too, we should perhaps understand the stories behind these programs from another perspective and feel the hard work and dedication of the tour guides and guests. Perhaps in these seemingly light-hearted variety shows, we can feel more reality and the warmth of life. Whether in Hu Xiao too or in daily life, everyone has their own story and efforts. Perhaps while we enjoy the contributions of others, we should also learn to understand and respect the contributions of others more. As Wang Anai and Zhao Lucy said in the interview, the responsibility of the tour guide is not only to lead everyone to have fun, but also to enable everyone to gain pleasant memories. This sense of responsibility and dedication also makes us look forward to their performance in the show and the development of the story. Perhaps, when we watch Hu Xiao too again, we will have deeper feelings and more understanding. In this program, we can not only see the happiness and authenticity of the stars, but also feel the responsibility and intention. This kind of intention and responsibility may also affect our attitudes and ways of doing things in our daily lives. The hidden god Zhao Lucy's love break and Wang Anayu's this scene upset the entire internet. He confessed and proposed in his dream, causing a sea of tears. The plot of the new fairy tale drama Shenyan starring Zhao Lucy and Wang Anayu has reached its climax. In the latest plot, Aang played by Zhao Lucy was personally punished by Yuan Qi played by Wang Anayu, but accidentally caused her soul to fly away in Yuan Qi I blamed myself and fell to my knees crying with my heart broken. The plot was very sad. Yuan Qi, who is overly regretful, even confessed in his dream and confessed his love to his partner Ayn and proposed marriage, which made many fans cry. Zhao Lucy played the two roles of the water condensing beast Ayin and the phoenix emperor Fang Yin and Shen Yin. The character of Ayin in the early stage was relatively innocent and romantic, and she was brave in love. She was very different from the Kuching played by Wang Anayu in the early stage. It has a full sense of CP, and the love line of childhood sweethearts has received a lot of praise. Now that Fang Yin with a mature and steady personality is online, many netizens are also curious about how their relationship will develop. The plot development of the hidden god Hong Yi, played by Li Yunru, was possessed by a demon and accidentally massacred everyone in Day's Mountain, so he was imprisoned. In order to save the life of his friend, Aeon secretly let him go, but become the guilty lamb and be punished. At the request of the gods, Yuan Qi had to strip Aeon of her immortal status, and even said, Although Aeon and I have the same friendship, she is just a passerby in the Three Realms, and I have no partiality towards her. Read it. It was the sentence that completely chilled Ayan. Since Ayan had been seriously injured a long time ago, he could not bear the punishment of Yuan Qi at all. 
He was instantly stunned in front of the immortals. The unknowing Yuan Qi immediately rushed forward to hug Yin, but it was the last time for the two of them. Hug each other. However, in the extras, Wang and I fell to the ground crying and yelled heartbreakingly, but this clip was not cut out of the main film, which made many netizens very dumbfounded. They thought that the actors and Shen Yan acted well, but the plot was not particularly outstanding. Comma, it's all due to poor post-production and editing. In addition, Yuan Qi couldn't bear the departure of Yin. He dreamed of standing with Yin in the fairy world. Yin suddenly saw two lines of poem, if you have a good match, why die? I wish to be a Mandarin duck. I don't envy immortals. Yuan Qi immediately confessed to her, I like you, will you marry me? Yin and the dream nodded immediately, although Yuan Qi said that he would never let her go again. Kama and made a promise with a kiss on her forehead, but these are still dreams, causing many fans to say, this is so beautiful, but my heart really hurts. Sugar in the glass shards. You if I had told on anything I had to say earlier, it's too late to say anything now.